Folks, we're going to move right along here. We have a paddle of journalists. Batya Angar Sargon, Alec Lace, host of the First Class Fatherhood podcast, and, if that weren't enough, David Asman, Fox <laughs> Business anchor. It's really part of this show. Um, all right, I want to start with the American flag story. Mm. We have pictures or whatever we're supposed to have, and Alec, you got an American flag tie on like you generally do, and I want you to narrate this. By the way, uh, Bill Ackman, uh, hedge fund guy, gave him ten. They're up to three or four hundred thousand dollars. People throwing money at him. Do we have the pictures of the American flag? And I want to get this up on the full screen. There it is. Some fraternity kids from the University of North Carolina putting that damn flag up again where it belongs instead of the Hamas. I might add to give some credit, the chancellor of UNC at Chapel Hill also did the same thing. And then these kids came along and did it again just to show that um, all the media shouldn't be covering Hamas or the media shouldn't be covering Palestine. They should worry about America, America first, and some good old-fashioned patriotism. Alec, you got the flag. Put that thing out there. Come on, put it in front of your best. <laughs> I want everybody to see that. There you go. We're going to put it up there. David Asman's going to guard it. Anyway, what do you make of this story? Listen, first of all, i got to say I'm very proud of these boys and very, very proud that we have parents that are raising good kids like yes. this in our country. Yes. Don't forget, these protesters, they're dragging that American flag on the floor. The only reason they're able to protest and have their voice is because people are buried in the dirt right now defending that flag and their right to free speech. So bravo for these guys. And by the way, too, Larry, yeah, they raised over almost a half of a million dollars in just under a day. Now, if you look at the other GoFundMes, the one for the UCLA market, they raised only five thousand oh. dollars in eight days. Oh, then you look it. at you look at Harvard University, a thousand dollars for those communists. So the people are voting with their dollars, and they support these patriotic Americans. And I salute them. Bravo, bravo. Oh, by the way, I've got an America. It's a small one, but my pin <laughs> is the American flag and the Marine flag. And you know, my son's been a Marine for twenty years. One of the most moving ceremonies was his retirement last June. After 20 years in the Marine Corps, the last thing that you do in the retirement is get the flag that was flown over the base the night before the retirement ceremony. He folded the flag. It was folded tight, and he brought it over to me, and he gave it to me. Anybody tries to take a flag away from me, and I'm going to smack him in the face. You know me. I don't usually get mad. But there, is, there are a lot of people out there who know, and I'm, I'm very proud that one of the few times I've been proud of the mayor of the city, when he yes, said that yes. in front of the people, yes. and they had to cover that, by the way, it the media were there, and he said, it means something to us. You, best can't, you can't fool around, and they tore down that Palestinian flag, and the cops put up an American so flag. I'm God gonna, bless him. So I'm going to see you and raise you one. Batia, what conflict? What am I having my lapel? <laughs> go ahead. Say it out loud. You have the American flag and, and the Israeli flag. There you go. Bro. I saw him one raising one. That's all <laughs> there is to bravo, it. Bravo. All right. Um, let's go on. I just want you to fill in. You probably heard the last segment. Biden comes out with this mealy math, you know, equal sides. All right. There was Islamophobia, which I'm, I'm looking for one square inch of Islamophobia in the last uh, month with all these campuses. Uh, and then he reads a bill of attainders, you know, no violence, no this, no that. He was completely right. And he won't prosecute based on our own Civil Rights Act. And Jewish kids are, they're not just being harassed. They're being hurt. There's a number of examples of Jewish kids on different campuses who actually have been hurt. They've been confronted in violence. And I don't know where the president is on that. And I'm not going to know until you tell me, Batya Angar <laughs> Sargon. Well, I think it actually goes a lot deeper than that. Uh, of course, it is an outrage that Jewish students have been discriminated against by these administrations. And they're going to sue, and they're going to make a lot of money. And our justice system, hopefully, will take care of that. But I think it goes much deeper than that. Those images of the cops with absolute discipline. Yep. Clearing out the protesters. Heroes. This was a split screen. What you were seeing there was the hard working discipline of America's working class, mm. as opposed to the narcissism and self regard and oppression envy mm. of the most privileged young people. And that divide is really at the heart of America today because the real outrage here is not just about Jewish students and it's not about Israel. That is a symptom of a much deeper problem, which is that those they, them, know nothings 
are going to achieve the American dream because they have a college degree and the hardworking working class of America that would never allow anti-Semitism to spread in this country are struggling. And to me, that is the real outrage here. Well, unfortunately, these elite school trustees yeah. are on the wrong side. They're on the wrong side of history. Absolutely. They're on the wrong side of these battles right now on the campuses. They're not in, they're not in favor of the Jews. They're in favor of the Hamas side. Well, they are, they are terrified of the students. They are terrified of the I don't know what their like reason. The rest I, of I, the I don't Party. think it's physical. They're not terrified. They're all right. They have guards, security services, cars for them. They live in good apartment houses. You couldn't get up one if you tried. No, they're not terrified. They're ideologically wrong. They're on the wrong side of history. And t let me tell you, I know them. I grew up with them. Yeah. I live with them. I live in the same buildings with them. I take the same car services as them. I even occasionally go out, even though I become a hermit, me and the saintly wife. We actually go to dinner parties with them occasionally. And I have to listen to garbage. I mean, it's just it's why I become a hermit. You know what I mean? I go with David. That's all. An MC. You like our cooking. Out. Your cooking is fabulous. It's, it's My wife's cooking. It's better in these high-priced restaurants. In those places, by the way, the customers are on the wrong side. They're for homeless. But the kitchen staff is on the right side. That's They're all for Trump. Uh, let me get back, let me let me get back to Alec. Um, now we're going to ship in. Palestinian refugees. We're going to give them green cards. We're probably going to let them vote. What's your take on that? Yeah, if you remember on 9-11, the Palestinians were all cheering, chanting, and raving in the streets when our Twin Towers came crumbling down. And we are, don't we import enough people into this country that hate us? God knows we have enough people in Washington, D.C. that hate us. Yep. So the last thing we need is more people that are in here looking to hate us and do us harm. So this is a terrible idea from Sleepy Joe. And get money from us. Yeah, I mean, of these course. Are, these are more open borders, more with welfare. Don't forget the welfare. Without the welfare, a lot of them wouldn't be here. You know, I, I, I got to end this. You're all fabulous. I appreciate it. Um, Trump made a very important statement in that Waukesha speech. He said, you can't have an entitlement system at home and let these, you know, 10, 15 million illegals come in and give them more. Bingo. And, that, and he was right about that. Yeah. There's a guy who wants to protect the entitlement system. Anyway, yeah. uh, about your on guard. Don't listen to me. I mean, I... I, I eat in very selected restaurants. That's all there is to it. Uh, David Asman and MC have uh, excellent uh, cooking. And we keep them well filled. Alec, bring that tie out again one more time. That tie is a flag. No, no, that's your statement. It is a flag. I like it. God bless. And, and, and stick on here. Don't forget the Marine Corps. Stick the Marine Corps. Yes. Booyah. All right. Uh,